Hello again. Another daily upload. I don't know what's going on. I've just had some kick up the arse apparently. And I've actually started uploading more. I think it's because we're really close and I could smell a thousand subs. That's probably why. I'll probably get to a thousand and then you won't see me for a month. Anywho, another episode of Best Used Watches. And we're going to start off with the Omega Swatch Moon Swatch Snoopy Black. Mission to Moon Phase. Rolling Super Ocean. This is the 42mm. This is very, very cheap. 4,250 retail. Condition's not too bad, to be fair. Clasp has got some marks on it, but nothing too major. Bezel looks pretty immaculate. That might be a little mark there, but it might be a bit of lint. I don't know. But overall, not too bad. He's added it on the app, so it is authentic. Got warranty until August 2024. Oh, look at that box. Isn't that sensational? Rubber strap looks alright, but it's rubber. It's going to last yonks. It's not too bad on the clasp. I mean, you can get a new one from Broiling for not too much, to be fair. Straps are pretty reasonable on Broiling. I'll give them that. This was up for 2,500. He's just dropped it down to 2,300. So it seems like it's a bit of a desperate sale. So you could either jump on it at 2,3, which is a phenomenal price, or wait a little bit. It might go down even less. So definitely have a gander rolex gmt master 2 this is the 116710ln i love this one how it's got the green text and the green hand it's just very very nice full box and papers seems to be well looked after i don't know if on that top link it's been polished my polished dar might not be working very well but i feel like that might have been polished i don't know side of the case on the other hand is very nice it's got a few blemishes this might be a tactical out of focus you never know but we'll have to see the other pictures. Clasp is okay as well. Also, the bottom link's not too bad. You got some blemishes here and there. That might be a little dent. Ooh. Is that a reflection or is that a massive gash in the link? I think it was a reflection. I'd ask for another picture of that. It's got a mark there, but he hasn't... I don't know. I might be going mental. But overall condition isn't too bad 9175 good price i would say try and offer nine maybe so you can get a bit more off definitely have a gander phenomenal wow tudor black bay 79230 now this is very cheap 1600 pounds bear in mind it has got the rubber strap it won't be worth as much as the bracelet versions but 1600 is still a ridiculous price bought from fraser hart in 2017 case looks to be all right from the top bezel is pretty immaculate i hope that's not a mark on the crystal but that might just need a clean Ooh, side of the case needs polish hmm. that's not very good condition on the side or there this has been enjoyed okay it's been enjoyed that other side is holy moly have they done that much damage to the side of the case but the crown is immaculate case back's pretty scratched as well full box and papers which is good hole do you try and take the spring bar out with a fork how the fuck <sighs> oh my i would say yeah, i'd say this needs a polish i must admit even this is a bit far for me damage wise so if you're thinking about buying this yeah i'd recommend getting a polish with a service you're probably looking at about 2.2 which is a bit over the going rate with the rubber strap so just factor that in that is a lot of damage have a gander maybe another gmt master 2 it's a 16710 this is the coke bezel it's just red and black anywho there's not many pictures that's your whack. Full box and papers, 10495 It's a decent price, I must admit. We've got a video. I'm bored now. Condition's alright. It's not too bad. Definitely have a gander. Last but by golly not least, it's a true to Royal. This is the day date version and i think it's very nice i'm not one for integrated bracelets but i tried a royal on and they're really comfortable the bracelet's a bit meh but i i, I like it it's quite nice it looks quite schmexy i must admit 
Condition-wise, it's alright. Still got the sticker on in the inside of the clasp. Four extra links, four box and papers, and goldsmith's receipt. Bought it for seventeen thirty. Not really losing much money, to be fair. That's, oh, we got a riff roll there. One thing that really annoys me, wrist rolls when they're like this. It's just really annoying. Why is it so slow? 1520 is a good price. It's just under the used market value. So you are getting quite a good deal and seems to be in very good condition. So definitely have a gander.